Hey guys! Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok! Let's start with the earworm of the day. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark. Okay. Alright, good. Is the earworm all lodged in your heads now? Cool. Alright. Actually, I do music seriously. Uh, bedroom colors. Wherever you stream your music, uh, I have a song called Baywalker I put out recently. Yeah, Give it a listen. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's do it. So uh, we're in this um, place. It was just on the map thing, and I forgot it already. But it's warm and not cold. I know that. Think we can fit under that bridge? It's possible. Maybe. Maybe you could fit under the bridge. Uh, I like the innovative solution. Kratos was like, yeah, sure. Oh, I know what this is. See these teardrop things? Pick them up. <laughs> okay. I gotta take that bucket down. I know that. What are those? I will tell you, I am not necessarily the best at uh, combat in this game. Maybe I might become an expert in some way. <laughs> but that remains to be seen. For one, it's like, you know. But I do have fun. And uh, this game features awesomely fun combat like if you like games that have fun combat then uh this is a game you could play this is a game you probably should play if you like fun combat you know and there's a lot of styles and ways you could fight too like i prefer these uh fury blades or something like that. I think they're called Fury Blades. Yeah. It's my favorite weapon that's featured, you know? Like, in the first game when the Fury Blades became a thing, I just almost always did that. I see chesty chest! You know I'm gonna get it. I love chesty chests in games. Nice, hacks over. If a game does not have chesty chests, I will might not play it. Father, up there. What are you referring to? I'll try that though. Maybe you're pointing at the I don't know what they're called. You could burn them down, though. Any more? Uh, there. I could reach it, right? Alright. Let's try it. Come on. Yay! Whoa, whoa, oh! Cool. Cool. And there's a chesty chest right there. I get that first. I'll be sure to grab that as well. With exploration, 
This game is like totally cray cray. You know. That used to be a term said a lot, right? <laughs> it's like so totally cray cray. Now it's not really a thing. <laughs> I just said it anyway just because. All right, we're moving on. Going strong. Hitting that bong. I don't know. I ran out of... I uh, can't think of anything else to add to it. Singing a song. Yeah, that one. Well, I already did... I already sang you a song. I, I did the baby shark thing. I... I gifted you with a beautiful earworm that is Baby Shark. Jeez. See, like, so things come up behind me and then I have a hard time dodging it or turning around. And it's not my, it's, it's not my fault. No, it is my fault. Because the game mechanics, they offer you, it offers you, like, the ability to turn around. I'm just terrible at doing it. And I keep forgetting how to do it. And I keep not checking out how to do it. Did they cap those geysers? Looks like they did. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I think we need to get that wheel moving. But the water doesn't reach. Okay, we got ourselves a puzzle, guys. Does that do anything? Allows me to hop over, but... Okay, gotta get the wheel moving, then. Oh, no, we got company! As a... Nathan Drake would say. Nathan Drake would often say, or, or maybe Sam Drake would often say, like, when there's an enemy, we got company. But this is not Uncharted. I should probably make a new Uncharted episode sometime. I will. I will eventually. I am so low in health. <laughs> Those things are everywhere. Okay, we froze one of those geysers. Is there another one somewhere? Um, okay, gotta look for another. I'm somehow making it work, you know. <laughs> oh, what if I froze that? I'm a genius. More of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Brock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. Like, my brain soaks in the weirdest bits of information, and then, like, disregards... It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? And just disregards critical information sometimes, but I remember the weird little things. Yeah, how do, how do your brains work? Let me know in the comments. Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to Nidavalir. Maybe you got, maybe your brain is like an information sponge where you absorb all the information that comes at you. 
And if that's true, Listo. that's great for you. <laughs> too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Must be a better vantage point. Somewhere we can attack it without it seeing us. Thanks for the hint. Uh, up here. <laughs> I probably needed the hint. Thank you, Atreus. Okay. Well, you hide. <laughs> no. <laughs> you did it. Okay. Thank you, Atreus. You're a genius, and I'm stupid. What do you got? Shattered rune. Rawhide. Slag deposits. Forged iron. Wow. That's more than you find in a chesty chest, even. Farther. Up there. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh, I need that. Nice. I thought I could cut it like you can in the Star Wars Jedi games to make shortcuts or something. But no. Star Wars Jedi basically Oh yeah, Star Wars Jedi Halfway Survivor. There. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Star Wars Jedi Survivor will be the <laughs> next game I'll be doing. Uh, Look, there's a chain we can pull be, up there. I'll be going back to that. What's down? I got it. I got it. I got it. Do I got it? I'm not sure if I got it. I'm not sure if I do. I thought I was being smart. For once. Nope, I blocked that one. I blocked it, bro. I blocked it. Cursed Grim. Okay, I'll let you read that. Actually, I got two things. Pause if you want. that about what is that guy about what are you about what is that about you've been drinking <laughs> you're hung over it's clinging to the wall what is we gotta knock it down. oh this is like uh what are they called in Resident Evil, the ones that cling to the walls. I'm not sure. I forgot what they're called, but they cling to the walls and um, everything. So you find them in Resident Evil 2 and uh, jeez. Think you can uncover that geyser from here? What did I tell you about my brain being stupid? I think I can. Yeah. There you go. I just remembered what they're called. They're called liquors. And uh, they have these long tongues. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. And they uh, climb the walls and ceilings. Yeah. Okay. You see that thing up there? There you go. Hey, nice one. Locks coming down. Ah. All right. This was a perfectly good brain episode. I don't. Yeah. 
<laughs> so, I got music, bedroom, colors, wherever you stream your music. Subscribe, hit that notification, notification bell. Thank you for watching. Yeah!